Jarrod R. Fort Glass, the world's biggest aircraft carrier. This is the, what they're building right now. Hello, everyone, next year and welcome back it. to the Fluctus channel. Looks actually not that big, I feel like, but that's a lot of airplanes, man. It is an undisputed fact that aircraft carriers are one of the key components of military defense. They have Ape Lincoln as a symbol. This also unique vessel is carrier. more than what you might be imagining. Dude. And in this video, we will unravel Crazy. every detail of the world's largest multi-billion dollar aircraft carrier. That's a lot of money, man. But you know what? If I was a fucking US citizen, man, I would not be like, oh, my taxpayer money goes to that shit. That, especially with the Ukraine war now, I, I realize how important the military is to show uh, the, the enemy that they can fuck right off, you know? And I need these things, unfortunately. These four world, billion dollar aircraft these, carriers take works. several years to build. Dude. They are enormously large and span up to 1,000 feet, which yes. is about three times the size of the American football field length and about 250 feet in height. Can you stop talking? The about aircraft feet, carrier has numerous military not, hardware features, but the design also ensures it provides the comfort that the crew on the ship will need. After all. They're going to be calling this. Like, look, like to me, I've always thought about this. So in this tower work like 20, 40, 60 people, one janitor, 61, then 30 pilots plus 10. Let's say 100 people, bunch of machine cooking, blah, blah, blah. You need like 300 people for the shit. But there's like a thousand people on this thing. I fucking is blowing my mind because of shift still. Yeah, uh, it kind of makes sense now. Ship their they home shifts. for an extended period of time. The doctor. The ship features large gym areas. Grocery stores and excellent There's air. A grocery store? I have to. I'm putting my life on the line for the U.S. citizens, and I have to pay for my own shit. Conditioning systems. They have a as Starbucks? well as specially equipped resting and sleeping areas. Actually, kind of fucking cool. Dude. A retail service specialist handles the grocery stores they, they and have... other facilities. What's your job? I have a fucking shop on a aircraft carrier. Rated from the sales of items mall? go into funding activities and stuff. other facilities to. Four thousand people on full load. Where the fuck are there four thousand people on this thing? Boost what? the sailors' morale. Five thousand. Stop. Where do they? Additionally. What? An aircraft carrier will have many grocery stores with several dining facilities, crazy, serving man. about 15,000 freshly prepared. I would like to ask every single person what their job is. What the fuck? Prepared meals each day. This is, this is some crazy While ass at sea, human The average man. amount spent daily by an aircraft carrier is $65,000. Oh. Dude, this is like, this is like a cruise ship for the military. There's even two pups. The general assessment is one of the tools that keep the aircraft carrier safely operating. They often regard the aircraft carrier as a symbol of absolute naval superiority and national strength because it is the most capable offshore combat warship. It's so interesting to how 4,000 people work on this, but only 30 of them are lethal, like the pilots, right? Only the pirates are lethal on a carrier. I have a poop attack after this, by the way. I have a lot of poop attacks lately. The regular general assessment is essential to prevent accidents, injuries, or illnesses that could happen on board, and what they can do to lessen the it's likelihood of them occurring. Pilots. Imagine one missile and this thing the Well, that's why, that, that's something I never understood when I was younger, but they have uh, escorts, right? They have destroyers that actually make sure that all the torpedoes can hit The location of potential dangers is crucial, since it and defines the subsequent course of action. General assessment helps reach flawless precision and thoroughness, which can only be achieved through a systematic procedure. What are the destroyers that even have insane AA? They use the training technique for consistent application. Continuous, flex... So the way to beat the carrier is kind of to infiltrate it, right? With like a spy. Imagine one fucking spy is on this ship and he can plant a bump or something. Possible and Maybe routine reviews are carrier. part of the general assessment of the warship. This enhances safety while minimizing environmental impact. Or a biovirus. Makes even sense a bit. Among us? Among US? Because risk is never a fixed or stable concept, Mitigating risk requires experience, training, and a particular disposition. Human behavior towards issues, general awareness, 
and ongoing attention on the part of the people engaged are all factors that play an essential role so in the decision-making process that an organization goes Crazy. through while carrying out the general assessment of the warship. And they're all fucking knights. They all have fucking night armor. Maintenance of aircraft on a carrier deck is crucial to the functionality of aircraft. Flight main maintenance in the military is something Germans don't know anything about anymore. Am I right, Germans, right? Maintenance and operations at sea are closest to the envelope's edge. Did you imagine being the captain of this ship, man? You're like the boss of this thing. It should be no surprise that the Navy has established practices that transcend specific missions. Vessels. Dude, look at these jets, Alter. I'm always so impressed by this. This is true human progress, man. Look at this war machine, Alter. Like, what a, what a feat of physics and engineering, man. And I have so technologies. Much, this stuff. much like their design, this bad boy, modern man. aircraft Crazy. carrier flight operations are a product of their history and continuity of operations. Crazy, man. Operations on a what big current aircraft carrier that flies the most <laughs> advanced planes are so complicated that no one on or off the ship can know the content and order of every task that needs to be done to make sure the planes fly safely, are reliable, and on time. As for electrical, electronic, and armament systems, they do maintenance at sea. An airplane requires three stages of maintenance, organizational, intermediate, and depot. These three stages can also be called O-Level, I-Level, and Depot. They can complete the first two on board, while they must complete the third ashore. Why? Does any materials? Look at that bad boy. Holy shit, man. I don't want to get nuked by this shit. The F-18 is a configurable... Mil I know, when I, when I see a video like this, with the background of Russia failing in Ukraine, I feel like... If Ukraine and Russia, if uh, if America and Russia would ever go hot, man, dude, Russia would be gone in a sec. Yes, they have nukes. That's like all they have, though. These Americans, man, they will shit on Russia in a second, bro. Like it's not even close. Military plane. Man. By modifying it's like a, it's like and adding parts, they can use it for different purposes. This versatility this is makes the F-18 right? a After valued all. U.S. asset that helps the Navy and Marine Corps achieve air superiority. That must be fucking sick, it's man. a fighter and yeah. ground attack aircraft. Oh, Cass. A set of stations on its belly and wings can transport everything from extra fuel tanks to a nuclear bomb. Oh, High performance criteria also contribute to the F-18's versatility. So wait, do they have a nuke in storage? This carrier should have a nuke in storage, right? So in case they can fit the nuke on a plane. That must be so weird. You're like on that ship and like there is a room with a nuke in it. There's not? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But there's these submarines all around the globe, right? With nukes. There's these submarines that are always ready for uh, the The apocalypse. deck operation is essential to make sure these jets land seamlessly. Way too dangerous, they don't do that. But there's nuclear submarines, yeah, that are always everywhere. But imagine working on a nuclear submarine, man. You are gone forever, just hiding Aircraft from Aircraft on these multi-billion dollar amphibious happen. assault warships are That's modernly cool. built to have vertical landing capabilities. Can you do that? They have nuclear An example yeah, is the F-35, yeah. which boasts unrivaled avionics and Jeez. is powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine. Dude, the fucking wending machine McDonald's doesn't even work, but the military has shit like this, bro. We're investing on money weird, Widely man. regarded as the, the most fuck? potent fighter engine currently available. It Damn. can go up to 900 nautical miles and reach speeds Look of up to that. 1,200 miles How per hour. How much is one of these? How much money is that? I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is the F-35. F-45, F-35, F-35 price. I say 51 million. What? When it came off the production in 2007, since then up to 79 million. And now for worth about, oh, it's a deal. That's a deal. So 80 million, that's crazy, man. How many fucking schools you can build with that? 80 million for this The F-35B is the only one of the three types with short takeoff and vertical landing, wow. or STOVL. This means Dude. it can operate equally well on both land and... When World War III happens, I really want to be on the U.S. side, man. That's an aircraft for sure. carrier. 
Because it is equipped with STOVL capability, the Israel got these for free thanks to the American taxpayers. The jet can land vertically, like a helicopter, and take off at relatively short distances. This enables it to function from... Re who sells them? Lockheed Martin? Who sells that stuff? If I'm the government of Germany and I want to buy one of these, who do I text? I I Lockheed Martin? Remote bases with little landing space and Lockheed a variety Martin? of okay. air-capable ships. I used to be ships. invested in Lockheed Martin, man. They made a lot of money the when the F-35B is one of the most expensive jets in the world, with a price tag of, of over one hundred million dollars for each aircraft. No way, I don't believe it. Its that. operations are exclusive to the United States Marine Corps. Man, the Marine Corps, is, you don't fuck with these guys. Another example of an aircraft with vertical landing Germany capabilities is the AV-8B Harrier. Oh, that was a command command alert too, man. Dude, that's so cool. The AV-8B Harrier II aircraft is one of the United States' current inventory capable of short takeoff and vertical landing. Since launching yeah, in the late 1960s, model. they have subjected the Harrier to several upgrades, which have resulted in more excellent safety, range, and lethality. Can you imagine flying that thing? Jeez. The Marine Corps' notion of an all-STOVL force relies heavily on the AV-8B as a crucial component. This concept enables Marines to be supported. Man, I want to play with Fortnite and make, a, make an aircraft carrier. Ported in harsh forever. conditions while operating in expeditionary areas. Lockheed made a little money in Iraq and Afghanistan. Lockheed is a great stock. The Harrier 2's thrust of 22,000 pounds allows it to hover like a helicopter and then surge forward at the speeds of a jet. They use it for multiple missions including attacking and destroying surface and air targets, of these. escorting helicopters, engaging in air-to-air -air defense, providing reconnaissance, and for offensive and defense. Imagine you're a Russian pilot watching this man. I'd be like, oh, suka fuck. ...of support this with its arsenal good. of missiles and bombs. Tom Cruise its adaptability allows it to execute almost any mission. That's Crowdfront and Tommy Cave F-35. The USS Zumwalt is another example of a U.S. Look Navy that, vessel man. that needs to be covered. That's the future. Look at this shit, dude. The Zumwalt wow. is the flagship of a... That looks like fucking Elon Musk made that. ...class of next generation. But it's made so the radars don't work, right? And that bullets go away and stuff, right? Ration multi-mission destroyers designed to increase naval strength. It's ugly. You know this is war. It doesn't matter if it's ugly. It's and power from the sea. Oh, shit. Look at that. Looks like a temple. A temple of war, man. It's against raiders. These destroyers are for different roles. These ships will have the most I, I advanced military America, hardware and technology, such as the most advanced electric propulsion system, a wave piercing tumble home hull. One thing I learned in the German army, I don't know about the US army, I think maybe not. One thing I saw in the German army is that most people you see here have no idea what they're doing. When I was in the army, 80% of people in my unit didn't know anything what they were doing. They were just token creatures. They had no idea about anything, man. When there's an issue, they have to call the one guy, you know? This United States destroyer, which cost $4.4 billion, was hailed as one of the most technologically advanced vessels in the world. Holy crap. Since this warship is a guided missile destroyer... I'm, I'm always so surprised and have respect that this just works. That humans come together and build this thing and operate this thing and just everything works when i built an ikea furniture it's always wrong you this one i did i did the fucking screws wrong but they managed to make this thing work I, boy that's so cool its primary mission is to supply the fleet of the united states navy with anti-aircraft support in october 2008 building on the ship what company built this uh ship what company built that ship anyone know first got underway they launched it in october 2013 but yeah. the United States Navy didn't bring it into service until October 2016. This the U.S. Navy canceled. surface ship is regarded Five as the most factories. technologically advanced ship canceled. in the He's world. In McDonald's? Look at that, man. Dude. It is a multi-purpose stealth missile destroyer with a backswept bow and a futuristic hull design Bath called Iron a tumble home, that all of like which contribute to its low radar profile. Damn. You can build these in Lame Dawn. The tumble home hull slopes inwards. The ship is the size of two football fields and can carry two helicopters as well as two attack boats. No, However, attack boat. it, Dude, imagine you're in a, on an attack boat. It's night and you're World War Three, and the boss is like, attack boat, hey, please get ready for combat. And you're sitting in that boat and you're getting close to a Chinese carrier. Man. Only registers on the radar the as fuck? a vessel like that is 50 shit. feet long. 
Some Walt is equipped with two turrets of the advanced gun system that have rocket assisted GPS so guided projectiles. Dude, I, I don't know much about this, but being a fucking company that builds equipment for the US military, you must make a lot of money, man. Like, imagine you're, you're a guy and you have a company. Yeah, who's this? What? Oh, you want a $4 billion destroyer? Get the, get the panties out. Get the panties out, wife. We're going to Hawaii. Inside the warship is a commercial sized data center where several systems are automated. The destroyer is also equipped with 80 missile bays from which it can deploy anti-ballistic, surface-to-surface, yeah, and, and like surface-to-air missiles. missiles and radar ships. Research into future weaponry such as rail guns and lasers is being conducted by the Navy to be used in this warship. Is it, doesn't it feel kind of weird though how that this will never probably never be used? But you know, it's necessary. It's necessary to, to, to show the enemy that, hey, don't fuck with us. But it's weird to think that we'll never be in real combat, right? That's the end of this video. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to subscribe.